Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Rachel Capel. I'm a San Francisco event photographer and I want to help as many photographers as I possibly can through this channel, educate them and teach them how to create and build a thriving, successful business. So hope that you are here for that reason. And if you are today, we are going to be talking about all of the event photography gear that I use, my favorite go-tos for my events that I shoot all over the Bay Area, and we're gonna be talking about all of that today. So if you wanna learn about that, stay tuned. Okay, so you're a new photographer, what kind of camera and gear do you use for event photography? So first off, for me, I have been shooting for 18 plus years and doing event photography, and I have my kit, that I use all the time, my gear that I use all the time, and I'm gonna go over all of that. So first off with the camera, I'm a Canon shooter. So I shoot with all Canon gear. So whatever that is, if it's the Mark III, Mark IV, Mark V, <laughs> Mark VI, seven, eight, nine, ten, the R6, R5, whatever it is, that's basically what my go-to is. I'm gonna have, you know, professional camera body and um, that attaches to all of my different lenses, the DSLR, um, so whatever you can afford to get, get it. I mean, I've shot with the Mark II, Mark III, and Mark IV. Our five and six um, are the latest ones out, and if you get those, great, but um, just start with a good Canon or Nikon camera, Sony. I don't use Sony, but and I don't use Nikon, but I've heard great things. So um, figure out what that is, and you're gonna wanna use that camera body that can have the different lenses that can attach to them. And I use all Canon speed lights, the latest ones that are out um, with the mag mod um, flash topper that you put on top of it, and I'll have links to everything down below. But that is what we use for the camera gear. Um, I'm a Canon shooter, so that's what we use. And I primarily shoot bar and bat mitzvahs, corporate, um, I do portraits, but for event photography, I have photographed weddings. I've done social events, 50th birthdays, 30th birthdays, you name it, kids, parties, <laughs> I've done it all. Um, but primarily I shoot bar and bat mitzvahs and corporate. But we're gonna kind of talk about my favorite gear in this video to use, starting off with the camera and the flash, and we'll get into lenses next. Okay, let's get into my favorite lenses now and the different reasons why I use these lenses. So I told you I photograph bar and bat mitzvahs in corporate. So my go-to lens is always gonna be the 2470. Absolutely love this lens. It is so versatile, it is so great and useful and it's not that heavy and you can get out there and use it all day pretty much. Like if you were a brand new photographer, I would say the first thing I would buy is obviously the camera base and then I would get the 2470 and I believe it has now a 2.8. Mine is an older version because <laughs> I've been shooting for 18 years, so it's a 4.0. Now, if I had a 2.8 version aperture of the 2470, I would have gotten it before, but I don't think they had it back then because I'm so, I'm such an old shooter. <laughs> <laughs> but it just proves that you can have old gear and create great photos. So um, I love the 2470. You can use it for everything. For let's go over corporate and bar and bat mitzvahs, which is what I do. You could do the same thing for weddings um, and social events, no problem. It is a great lens to just get those grip and grin photos where people are hanging out, dancing, having fun. You can get creative with it. You can come in close, back up. I mean, it's just a super versatile lens once you start shooting with it and it's light on the, the hand. And with that flash, it can be get pretty heavy. So I love this lens. If you have to buy one lens, I would say, and you're considering event photography, even portraiture, I would say get the 24-7 to start off because it will be like the workhorse for you. It will do everything that you need. And I mean, you can shoot headshots with it. You could do everything, you know, even real estate photography, uh, pet kids, you could do it all. The 2470 is like my absolute favorite lens to use for every single event possible. Corporate, you could obviously like take it when they're having the cocktail hour, chatting, talking with people. It's just super, super, super versatile. And I love this lens. Okay, now on to my second favorite lens that I love to use which is super versatile and important <laughs> to have in event, a corporate and bar and bat mitzvahs and wedding photography, like every kind of event that you do, you're gonna need this lens as well. 
it's the 70 to 200. The reason why you're gonna need this lens is because you need to be able to get those zoomed in angled photos where you know the kids on the podium doing the Torah portion or the Devar Torah, you need to be able to have that zoom, be able to get in there tight and, and get that shot for the family. And for corporate, you're gonna to have to get the speaker on the podium and you're most likely gonna be really far away. It's not gonna be good. The 2470 is not gonna cut it in these situations because it just won't be able to get that close. I don't know of any lens that can get that close out there. So minus these big zoom ones like the 300 and whatnot. So 70 to 200 for event photography is essential to have because you've got to be able to get those up close shots where you're standing from far away. Cause like in bar and bat mitzvahs in the uh, synagogue, you're going to have to be, if you're allowed to photograph, sometimes you're not allowed to photograph. Um, you're going to have to go in the back, back corners and be quiet and non-disruptive while they're doing the service. So that is going to be essential to be able to have that zoom lens to get you that tight cropped in shot um, of them on the podium or um, in a corporate event on the podium or anywhere on you know up there so i also love to do um, family portraits like in portraits of the kids with the 200 so like we will take the kind of like you know the portrait shots outside before the service um, and just make sure we have that pretty background with that buttery bokeh in the back with that 2.8 um, aperture or even lower. But I like, I, I mean, I have like 85s and other lenses that are great for portraiture, but for the um, events, it's just I kind of rotate between that 200 millimeter and the 2470. So 200 millimeter is my second favorite. That is an absolute must. And I'll go over my last two next. Okay, now on to my kind of luxury lenses, I would call them. <laughs> you can use all of these for any event. Wedding, bar and bat mitzvah, social, uh, corporate. You can use them for anything, okay? These are gonna be the luxury lenses. There's three of them. So the first one is a 16 to 35 millimeter. So this one is gonna get the whole entire room. It's gonna be that detail shot of the entire wedding set up, like the, the venue set up, the um, ceremony site, whatever. Um, these are gonna be great to share with like the event planners or to just give to the client to have those details of the entire room. It's gonna get the wide shot of the corporate group that you need, like a like seriously big lot, like gigantic shot of everyone and then um just the room right you know get that detail shot that you don't necessarily really need but like it's always good to have um and then the next lens that i love and people might think i'm a little bit weird for this but i kind of i've been shooting for 18 years and it's just kind of fun and I don't know, it's fun to have, this is the fisheye. So the fisheye can get, again, that big wide lens. You could almost swap between the 16 and 35 if you wanted to, but the fisheye kind of bows out at the end and it just kind of can create really cool wedding shots or shots for the bar and bat mitzvah, the party. Um, it's just really cool and kind of fun if you play with it. Um, it's a definitely a luxury lens. It's not something you use all the time, but I really like it to just play with. Um, and have fun. And then the last lens is the macro lens. So the macro lens, you're gonna get the ring shots, the detail shots of the food, the just the details in general, the flowers, whatever, you can get creative with it. We love the macro lens for these things, all the little cute details that you can't get in there with the 200 or the 2470. So those are my three last little luxury lenses that I love and my entire kit. But again, I think that if you were to just get the 2470 and the 200, you could really have use of great lenses. And obviously you've got to get the camera that we talked about in the flash, but like you could literally work off that for a long time and not have to like, you know, worry about buying more lenses. So those are my favorite go-tos for events. Okay, so there you have it, my favorite go-to gear for event photography. If you wanna know more about starting a successful photography business, I have a free training that I've done that goes over the top things that I did to create the business that I have in the San Francisco Bay Area and just make sure to check it out. The links will be down below and it tells you all of the things that you need to know, how to use your camera, what camera gear to buy, um, and just basically how 
how to create a foundation of a great photography business and get clients and get that business going up to six figures and beyond whatever you want to make. So if you want to know more about that, definitely check it out. And we also have a ton of freebies on how to get your business rolling. If you're struggling right now, check those out in the descriptions box below. And if you have questions, we have answers. Make sure to reach out to us and let us know if we can help you in any way. I absolutely love helping photographers succeed and thrive in business. I've helped many over the years and it warms my heart and just makes me so happy because I love photography and I know that you can make a living at it because I've done it for 18 years. And if you want more info on growing your business, we have videos popping up that you could check out and binge watch and just learn all the different things that I've learned over the years, the trials and tribulations and mistakes I've made I want to help you avoid them. So definitely check out those videos that are going to be coming, popping up next. And until then, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.